some things that you should think about if you're thinking about going blonde. My first advice to you would be wait. If you're newly natural, wait. Wait a while before you color your hair. I waited nine years, my hair was 100% healthy. My second tip would be meet with someone who knows about textured slash curly hair because people who know about curly hair are going to be able to give you the best advice. Um, just like you don't speak with someone who's broke about making money, I wouldn't speak with someone who knows nothing about your hair about coloring your hair. Something else to think about so going from darker hair to lighter hair, people are going to have a different reaction to you. I remember walking around the mall and people will stare at you if you're going to go platinum blonde. They will, especially if you're brown um, or, you know, chocolate or in that family. So if you're an individual that you know, in nature normally doesn't have blonde hair, people are going to stare at you. People are going to have opinions. Luckily for me, most of those opinions that were expressed either to me or about me have been positive. But um, I will say a few people try to come for my life, question your cultural pride. I will say I get approached by men. Um, I'm not going to say a lot more, but yeah, I'm going to say a lot more. <laughs> you may get approached by men a lot more. Um, it doesn't even matter. White men, Indian men, black men, you know, Latinos. It, like, I think people view, may view you differently. So that's something to think about. If you're a person who does not like attention, I would not go blonde. I would, I would maybe get a wig and experience it short term. <laughs> But yeah, if you don't like attention, don't go blonde. If you are concerned about people's opinions, don't go blonde. <laughs> if your hair is not healthy, don't go blonde. Um, if, you, if you can't wear your hair with confidence, don't go blonde. <laughs> it's, my it's my admonishment to you because if you go light, like I did in the platinum family, people are going to look People are going to stare. People are going to say things to you. And they're going to say things about you. And you just have to be able to, you know, embrace it. Many times it is a compliment. Sometimes it's not. And you just have to be able to keep on moving. So um, I don't think people touch on that. But I would, I would really just think about if you're ready for the attention that you're going to get. Um, I myself, I like to let my hair speak for me, so um, that's not something that I was really prepared for was, you know, all the attention that comes. Um, the last thing I'm going to say is have a strategy, know what you want. So um, do a lot of research, research the, the type of blonde that would be um, conducive to your skin tone. Do you want a more yellow blonde? Do you want a more ashy blonde? Um, do your research. Know what's going to work with your current wardrobe. Think about how your makeup is going to have to change. And if you are a person who is lazy about her hair care routine, do not go blonde because it is, it is almost like a, okay, depending on your hair texture, depending on your hair type, depending on what type of schedule you have, you might find being blonde overwhelming for you. I, I deep condition my hair at least once a week, most of the time two to three times a week. And I also filter in um, an Olaplex treatment, step three. If you are lazy about your hair care, do not go blonde. I'm warning you now, you will have to cut your hair. Okay? <laughs>